Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to App Unbox. Today we are going to unbox OneDeck, a simple and automated platform for your business needs. All right, so first of all, we are going to go to OneDeck.com, which is their official website, and then we can log into our account or try free and sign up for new. As you can see, no credit card is required, so you can also open up a free account for your business. So I have already opened an account, so I'm just gonna log into my account. All right, as you can see, I have inserted my username. Then I'm gonna click on next. All right, so email address provided, and now let's sign in. So as you can see, guys, we have signed into our account, and we have three tabs here. First tab, uh, I mean, these are workspaces, not tabs actually. So this is the home page here, and this is the sales workplace. This is the CRM workplace, which is customer relationship management. And then we have the operation uh, workspace here. So well, first of all, let's go ahead and explore sales. So we have leads here with names and status. We have to call them back. This new. Actually, I have these random data so that I can make you guys understand what I'm trying to say. These are not actually genuine data, so just not random data, okay? So as you can see, first of all, we have some names here and their status, irrelevant, no answer. So this guy have, must have been picked up the phone, so no answer here. We have their emails, we have their phone number, we have their cell phone number. Then we can assign our team member to handle them. As you can see, no one is assigned to it, but we can assign anyone. As you can see, I will assign myself. Or if we have any other team members in our team, then we could have assigned them to handle them, these customers or these leads so-called, and they will be able to handle them as needed. So first of all, uh, we have the leads page and then we have opportunities so let's go and explore opportunities so this one is like a board as you can see we have an empty workspace here and the scrolling is working here and we can also scroll horizontally but if you can't scroll then you can just zoom in zoom out the page and make the entire thing fit in your page well it looks too small damn it all right so no problem we can just uh, scroll and as you can see we have these opportunities listed under the tabs we have empty here so contact was made with these two people well wow, 50,000 orders handled and I know these are random data but they are really a huge number you know so we have all these description sales amount and as you can see we have appointed scheduled customer email and we also have a message here so let's check out the message so the so null null has commented one hour ago the, he commented no comments. So these are just random data guys. I'm just uh, explaining that how these mechanics are working. So a negotiation. People are negotiating here. And then we have calendar. Uh, well, calendar is for managing the events that are happening around. So let's see. So as you can see, after zooming out, I'm able to see these meetings. But when zoomed in, uh, no plus one more is showing I'm not able to see what events are here actually so it's really not good so I'm just zooming out and as you can see we have team meeting at 9 July uh, at 6 July we have fun day wow great no fun day for me because 6 July is over and then we have uh, at 9 July team ma team meeting uh, 80 21 July winter conference as you can see you can set up your team meetings in the calendar here and you can also invite your team members if you have any team members on board I don't have any team members on board here so you can select location set description attachments and we have guests as you can see as I told you earlier we can add team members or guests here then we can add activity what activity will be done all right so date was changed and name field was changed oh so these are the activity that has happened uh, in this event okay so now we are gonna go to customer relationship management window I'm just gonna go to my default zoom and as you can see we have customers here and we have active customer we have three active customers as you can see we have three active customers and one inactive customer so after that we're gonna go to contacts and then we have the contacts that are here so, so as you can see this contact is from this customer and these are the companies which are also known as our customers and these contacts are providing taking us to these customers so as you can see this one is the owner of Surgency Limited and 
other these two companies so these are our contacts and then after that we have operations and in, in operations we have projects as you can see e-commerce platform for these uh, this one is pros, frozen so all of our projects can be managed here which one's in progress which one has been cancelled which one is done and which one is frozen and you can also change these progresses if necessary as you can see if I uh, take this one as done then I can just do it and the project will be done as you can see the frozen project is now done so e-commerce platform for Kamea and corporation and marketing campaign for Sugao Cree Limited, website design for Curlers Limited, loading page for Rezuno Incorporated. All right guys, so as you can see, we have uh, this project sheet here. Then we have sprint sheet here. How long will a project take? As you can see, sprint range design is taking this much and we are already in mid almost. So after that, uh, we have 15, we have fin July due date for the sprint range design. All right, so after that we have tasks page as you can see we have empty space sprints review and then we have to do list and then we have the tasks that are in progress after that we have review and the tasks that are done so these are the tasks view in board format as you can see and then we can create workspace if needed so i'm just going to create a workspace and i'm going to select an icon just selecting the trash bin and then we're going to name it test and after that we can add board here so the board also will be test board and then we have fields we can select board fields name status assignee and date well i don't feel like giving date here so only name uh, status and assignee will be good enough and we have name field test okay so let's go ahead and test board as you can see we have test board name status assignee so as you can see we have table view here Kanban view here calendar timeline and we can also create more boards we can add entries for here as you can see we can select status so we can select to do assignee i will be assigned here myself and we will not set any attachments here so we're just going to type the name all right so do chores well now i'm gonna close this window as you can see do chores to do and i'm assigned to do that all right that's very fun so we can also customize and we can create these things created date created by and status you can also customize these boards and get these windows if needed and then we have board settings which by which we can delete the board and if you want to delete this entire workspace just go to the three dots beside test and you can edit the name or delete the entire thing if needed after that we have settings where you can change your account name account url and you can manage your profile company name company id address and you can manage the users that have been invited to your workspace to manage your business so guys as you can see one deck it's so much helpful to manage your entire business so if you found this video helpful guys please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great videos like these until we meet again next time goodbye